السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين إن شاء الله tonight we will read a few hadith with a chapter about forgiveness we are human beings and we are weak Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفًا the human being has been created very weak and uh, insan, human, the word insan comes from nisyan, forgets. So a human being forgets very quick. But Allah Ta'ala has left a door open for us all the time. We uh, have the forgiveness, the door of forgiveness. And Allah Ta'ala is ready to forgive us. So we need to ask forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and change ourselves to become a better person and to become more uh, ourselves to submit towards commands of Allah Jalla to, to submit ourselves towards the will of Allah Ta'ala. So our Prophet Sallallahu have uh, told us many times about this topic in many speech, in many khutbas, many hadith and uh, we should never forget. We always have the door open to ask from Allah forgiveness and Allah Ta'ala will forgive us and uh, when you have a sincere forgiveness and you ask from Allah, Allah Ta'ala makes a better life for you and changes you. And there are a lot of benefits when you ask forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So forgiveness is mean istighfar, saying astaghfirullah, oh Allah forgive me, but saying from your heart, saying by heart and understanding and meaning uh, to it. And understand that you're asking from Allah Jalla Jalla to change. You're asking from Allah to forgive the wrongdoing of the past and give you a better future, inshallah. So inshallah we'll read about this topic and uh, in the Quran many verses about this topic Allah Ta'ala has mentioned. In the Quran Allah Ta'ala says and ask for forgiveness for your sin and also for the believers, men and believers, women. Ask forgiveness for yourself and for everyone else. Another verse Allah Ta'ala says, وَاسْتَغْفِرِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا And seek forgiveness of Allah. Lo, Allah is ever forgiving and merciful. So Allah is ever forgiving and merciful. Another verse, Allah Ta'ala says, فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهُ إِنَّهُ they praise, continue to praise Allah, your Lord, and seek forgiveness of Him. He is ever ready to show mercy. So Allah Ta'ala is ready to forgive. And we should ask forgiveness from Allah Ta'ala, to seek forgiveness from Allah Ta'ala. Now our Prophet ﷺ in the Hadith has mentioned this many times. Abu Huraira says that he heard the Holy Prophet ﷺ saying, Wallahi inni la astaghfirullaha wa atubu ilayhi fil yawmi akthara min sabaheena marra. By Allah, the Prophet ﷺ saying, By Allah, Wallahi, I seek Allah's forgiveness and turn to Him in repentance more than. 70 times a day. Imagine the Prophet of Allah Ta'ala that is not doing anything wrong and he is pure, he is clean from everything. Still, he is asking 70 times, more than 70 times a day, uh, seeking forgiveness of Allah Jalla Jalla, asking forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Imagine how much we should ask from Allah Ta'ala forgiveness every single day. Another hadith is narrated from Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma relates that we could count the recitation of this dua, of this supplication that the Prophet sallallahu was saying in one sitting more than hundred times. 
So in one sitting of the Prophet ﷺ, he repeated this prayer uh, more than 100 times. What prayer was that? Rabbi firli wa tub alayya innaka anta tawwabu rahim. Rabbi firli wa tub alayya innaka anta tawwabu rahim. Rabbi firli wa tub alayya innaka anta tawwabu rahim. Beautiful dua. Easy to remember. Easy to memorize. Rabbi firli wa tub alayya innaka anta tawwabu rahim. And the, the uh, translation of this dua is, O oh Lord, pardon me and turn to me with mercy, for you are oft returning with compassion, ever merciful. So, Rabbi Firli, O oh Allah, O oh my Lord, forgive me, وَتُوبَ alayya, and uh, make me to uh, repent towards you, O oh Allah. And uh, return to me with mercy. Innaka anta tawwabur rahim. You are oft returning with compassion and ever merciful. So this dua the Prophet have uh, said in one sitting more than hundred times. This asking, seeking forgiveness of Allah Jalla Jalla. And uh, the last hadith is from Abdullah ibn Abbas who relates that the Holy Prophet وسلم, said a person who has, has taken upon himself to regularly supplicate Allah for forgiveness, so does istighfar all the time. Allah provides rizq, deliverance from hardship and grants relief from every sorrow and suffering and provides him sustenance from a source he cannot even imagine. So, whoever continue to do istighfar, to say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Oh Allah, forgive me, Oh Allah, forgive me, Oh Allah, ask forgiveness, Oh Allah, I seek your forgiveness. Whoever does this continuously every day, he gets three benefits. Man lazim al istighfar, ja'alallahu lahu min kulli ghammin makhraja, wa min kulli hammin faraja. وَرَزَقَهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِمُ So whoever asks uh, dua, ask regularly uh, forgiveness from Allah Ta'ala, Allah provides deliverance from hardship. So easy from every difficulty, every hardship. And grants relief from every sorrow and suffering. And provides him sustenance from a source he cannot even imagine. So that's, these are the benefits of istighfar, uh, asking forgiveness from Allah Ta'ala, seeking forgiveness of Allah Jalla Jalla. Very important. The Prophet Sallallahu uh, is doing this all the time. We also have to do it at least uh, in the morning hundred times, in the evening hundred times. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Or this beautiful dua, Rabbi al-Firli, wa atubu ilayya, wa atubu alayya. Uh, innaka anta tawwabur rahim rabbi firli wa tub alayya innaka anta tawwabur rahim rabbi firli wa tub alayya innaka anta tawwabur rahim to memorize this dua and simply say astaghfirullah oh allah i seek your forgiveness forgive me astaghfirullah 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 and may allah ta'ala make us to learn from this and to become people who always ask forgiveness and repent. Allah Ta'ala love those people who ask forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala all the time. Because when you ask forgiveness, you become humble. You become more spiritual connected with Allah Jalla Jalla. You realize and uh, then you become a better person every single day. May Allah Ta'ala make us from those people who always ask forgiveness from Allah Jalla Jalla. Ameen.